try to get it up every single Sunday. And one of the things I do is I give you my top 10. And I give you my top 10 based entirely on what has happened on the field, not what I expect to see happen there. And therefore, Georgia is my best team. Penn State, which has won two games on the road against Power 5 conference uh, 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 opposition, something that Purdue, the win over Purdue and the win over Auburn, something that not very many people have done. I got Ohio State up to three. That domination of Wisconsin spoke volumes to me. Uh, I've got Tennessee at four. Tennessee Volunteers, back rolling, got the win over top 25 opponent. Pitt held on against Florida. Anthony Richardson could not have played any better. I got the Vols at four. I've got Washington, the Huskies at five. Alabama, bumping them up slowly. They've been dominant every week except against Texas. We'll see what Bama does on the road against Arkansas this week. I've got USC at seven. Uh, Big win on the road against Oregon State. Kentucky at eight. We'll see how good the Wildcats are. I think, actually, Lane Kiffin and Ole Miss are going to get them this weekend in Oxford. I've got Minnesota at nine. I just talked about P.J. Fleck. And then I've got the Kansas Jayhawks at 10 just because I want Kansas fans to be able to enjoy being 4-0. Florida State would be my next team up, by the way. That is my OutKick Top 10, where I judge entirely based on the games that have been played, not based on who I thought was going to be good, based only on what we've seen on the field a third of the way through the football season. Now, SEC power rankings out there for everyone. I've got the Georgia Bulldogs one. Tennessee in second place, Alabama in third place, Kentucky and Ole Miss going head-to-head this weekend at four and five. I've got A&M at six after their big win over Arkansas, who I have at seven. LSU at eight. LSU goes on the road against Auburn. Be an interesting game to see this weekend. Mississippi State at nine. The Florida Gators at 10. South Carolina at 11. Vanderbilt at 12, Auburn at 13, and the team that I think is the worst in all of uh, the SEC right now, Mizzou, who choked away an opportunity to win against Auburn. I think Mizzou and Auburn are the two worst teams in the SEC. 